Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 210 of our broadcast, and Watching Chickies is the daily live stream featuring the lives and development of these three young chickens. Over here in black is our Ayam Savani hen named Braveheart. Over here in brown and gold is our Onigadori hen named Kagome. And over here, doing his little mating dance, is our gray silky rooster named Stormy. Bit of a quiet day today. A little bit of a late start. Oh, hello there, Miss Braveheart. Jumping right into my lap. Miss Braveheart does like to kind of perch here on my lap every once in a while, just to kind of say hello to us. Hello there, Miss Braveheart. And plop, down she goes. Miss Kagome is flapping around a bit over here, and Mr. Stormy is just doing his strut. Ah, and hello there, for a poor ninja not found. I'm doing all right today. Had a bit of a late day yesterday. I had to get up 3.30 in the morning for filming on the set, and then I got home around 7. So I think I slept for uh, 16 hours or something last night. I needed a lot of sleep to just kind of catch up. Uh, but we are back now. Uh, today's going to be a laundry day for the chickies because this blanket has just about had it. But that's all right. We have a laundry day about every two to three days with the chickies, depending on how the blankets are going. Uh, Lauren is doing well at home. She gave Mr. Stormy here a little bit of a trim for his hair because he was getting some of his feathers um, in his eyes which always makes him a little bit more irritable. He can see so much better when we give him a trim. He is much better behaved. Oh, hello there, Miss Kagome. <clears throat> yeah, they're really talking to me today. Mr. Stormy is clucking up a storm for the girls. Yeah? Oh, I think they're happy that I'm here at the moment. Happy that dad's cleaned up after them after a while. Let's see. Got a few cranberries here, Braveheart. Mmm, some of these are a bit too big. You're right. You're right. So let me see what I can do about that. Because the chickens, well, you know, they might like dried cranberries, but they don't like it when they're too big. Oh, see, Braveheart could not wait for me to finish over there. So she decided, I'm going to get these little bits that you make right on the spot. Dave Duck, 2007, thank you for the silver award. Hello there, Salty and Lit. Hello there, Necro Mouser. Oh, Ghost Wish, thank you for the helpful award. Bad Moons Mac Boy, thank you for the silver award. Lots of talking from the chickies today. Yeah, Kagome's adding a little trumpet into the little chorus here. Stormy, you look so good with that new little haircut. Lauren did a very good job getting rid of all of those little feathers about your eyes. Oh, lovely, lovely. What is it, Miss Braveheart? You want a few more? Bits of dried cranberry? Well, I can make them smaller for you. She does not like big pieces. Oh, right off my nail right there. Oh, dear. Oh, that was really quick. She has quite the, su the uh, sweet tooth, our brave heart. Now, you see, this piece is going to be far too big for her. Like, watch what happens when we try to present this. See? She's telling me off. She's saying, no, 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 that's too big. You need to make it smaller for me. So now we have two pieces. Oh dear, is this still too big? It is? Oh, okay, okay. She's not ready for that. And yes, Braveheart is a uh, hen. She has produced eggs for us before. 
Um, I love cabbage. Thank you for the helpful award there. Much appreciated. Now, Braveheart, she's seen that I'm working on a few more cranberries up here. Oh, I think she thinks I'm done. Let's see. Oh, you dropped that one on the floor. Oh, you got that one. <gasps> Another one on the floor. Hey, you got it. Good job there, Miss Braveheart. Oh, there you go. Now you dropped a couple on the floor there if you want to grab those. What, you want some, Stormy? That was a little protest noise. Here you go. Yeah? Would you like another? Or maybe you, Miss Kagome. Ooh, Miss Kagome, I like that as well. Oh, yes, Kagome is quite... It does have some quite vibrant colors on other feathers. The gradation of just how it goes from the gold to the brown is always quite striking. She's kind of more uh, gold towards the head, and she gets kind of brown towards her body, and then it turns almost black towards the tail. And I did say Kagome. Kagome over there is a um, Japanese onigadori uh, hen. The um, onigadori is an endangered breed in Japan. There are 250 breeding pairs left in the whole country. Uh, we do not have an Inuyasha in our flock yet, but we might have